The South African Communist Party is again calling for the U.S. Ambassador to South Africa, Ruben Brigitte, to go. This follows findings into the Lady R investigation over allegations by Brigitte, who claimed weapons were loaded onto the Russian cargo ship in December. Now, the SACP says he would be expelled, but others are adamant he was doing his job and is protected by diplomatic protocols. To speak to us now, we have SACP National Spokesperson, Alex Mashilo. Alex, good evening to you and thank you so much for joining us. So where does the SACP stand uh, in this matter or is it a more polarized view uh, where the half says one thing and the other half says another? Good evening to you, Alex, if you can hear me. That's Alex Mashilo, SACP spokesperson. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can so hear you where, now. Where, where does the, yes, where does the SACP stand? Uh, are you in uniform or unison in your approach towards the U.S. ambassador? Has to be expelled from South Africa given the damaging impact his baseless allegations have caused to our economy, to our country, and to the image of our democratically elected government. It is important to note that it was not the first time the U.S. ambassador did what he did. Some six months ago in 2022, towards the end of the year, before his reckless statements of this year, the U.S. embassy issued what they called a warning, saying that there was an expected uh, terrorist attack in the, sun, in the greater Santan area. That did not happen. On these two occasions, Mr. Brigetti broke diplomatic protocols. Not only did he damage the image of our country and have... Uh, a negative impact on our economy, but he also affected the image of the United States because no country can allow an ambassador who behaves that way uh, uh, to serve as its face. And having said that, Alex, I mean, this is a matter that uh, transpired a couple of months ago. Yes, the report was only released this week. Um, why is it that the SACP is only calling for his expulsion or removal now? And whether that is even probable, is this something that the diplomatic protocols allow for a U.S. ambassador or any ambassador to be removed? Yes, thank you for your question. Because if you went through our statement, you would have noticed that we were reiterating the position we expressed immediately when he made the allegation. Our statement of this week actually is a follow-up statement, and what occasioned it was the address by the president on Sunday night giving clarity. When Dr. Brigetti made the allegations, he said he was putting his head on the block because he had evidence. Yeah, just hold on, hold on the there. Um, made the announcement. There yes, no Alex, just hold on there. I just also want to bring in here um, another voice that says ambassadors should be protected and people shouldn't be calling uh, for the recall or removal of U.S. Ambassador Brickerty. You can listen in. You know, uh, in diplomacy, we as a country have the responsibility to protect the American ambassador in this case. I think the criticism and the personal attacks on him are basically unfair. It's actually undiplomatic. We can't. I've seen statements that he should be recalled. And so it's not our responsibility to do that. I think we should continue to protect his credibility because he represents his state. Even though there are mistakes, we should be able to deal with this thing, not through the public space and the public space that we see. We can deal with the matter at the bilateral level as a country. But really to see the type of venom that is directed to the American ambassador at the moment, I think is basically unfair. And I think as a country we should protect that. We are required to do that in terms of the, the diplomatic practice and in terms of the Vienna Convention that we are obliged to protect all accredited diplomats. 
All right, so that voice there, Kingsley Makubela, saying that uh, there needs to be a certain level of decorum that is afforded to the U.S. Uh, uh, ambassador and that we shouldn't have this venomous uh, call for his expulsion. Alex, uh, what is your reaction to that? No, 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 Makubela is unfair. What is venomous are the baseless allegations by the U.S. ambassador, Dr. Brigetti, and the way he broadcast those allegations. The allegations were unfair, were baseless, were venomous, and because of that, just minutes after the allegations, the rent lost 30 cents to the U.S. dollar, going down to 19 rand 36 cents. The following day, the rent lost again, going down to 19 rand 51 cents. There was a massive sell-off of the rent damaging our economy. Makubela's side is one-sided. He thinks that when we say the U.S. ambassador must be recalled or being venomous, while he ignores the venom that caused damage to our country, his utterances are unpatriotic, given the damage we are facing. As things stand right now, the South African receiver of revenue missed the targets for tax uh, programs, and that is going to weigh heavily on our country. That is the impact people like Makubela uh, uh, do not take into account. So we are speaking here as South Africans. It is venomous for someone to accuse you without evidence. When that person is invited to give evidence, that person professes to have no independent knowledge of evidence or does not come forward. That is actually undiplomatic, and such behavior cannot be protected in terms of diplomatic protocols. And in terms of our national democratic sovereignty, action has to be taken. He has to be held accountable for the damage that South Africa has suffered. All right, Alex, uh, we really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you indeed uh, for uh, joining us here on SA tonight. We're speaking to the SACP national spokesperson, Alex Mashilo, saying that the SACP is calling for the recall of the U.S. ambassador, Brickety, uh, that he needs to go because of the damage that came out of the criticism he had of the alleged uh, weapons that were loaded on Lady R. We now know that there is no evidence to that effect. But